and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd do a sort of bonus video, a B vid <laughs> uh, for you because at this current time um, my Disneyland Paris vlogs are sort of making their way through so I thought I'll do a little bonus video sort of in the middle of the week uh, as um, sort of my most uh, viewed video is my Disney haul so I know you like a bit of you know nosy and what people like to buy don't worry I'm exactly the same thing uh, so um it's not now but as I'm recording this it was a uh, payday weekend just gone so I did go on a little splurge just a tiny bit and I thought I'll sort of sort of show you now it's no, no clothes in here it's just odd bits and sort of pieces that I thought that uh, you know might interest you and see things I bought and everything but some things are not usually what you see in a haul so I thought I might as well put it in so I've got all these sort of like little shoppings I went into boots I mostly got things that are NYX because at the time when I went there, NYX, NYX were doing this sort of, if you spend more than £30 you get this sort of palette, so I'm kind of sucker for that and to be fair NYX products are quite expensive, well for me they are, they're quite expensive anyway, that you would only need to buy sort of like three items and you've got that palette and they were claiming this palette costs quite a lot of money on its own anyway, so I was like oh, okay, I'm a sucker, I'm going to get it anyway. So things I got from Boots are, it, I got That's The Point um, eyeliner, um, yeah, That's The Point. I got a NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat uh, foundation, uh, yeah, and it's in the colour Creamy Natural, so I haven't tried this uh, foundation yet. I wanted something matte because now, well, she says this as she's recording this, it's very gloomy again in, in England. Um, but when the sun comes out, I kind of want something that kind of sticks to my face quite a lot. And so it's not too oily and sort of sway because I'm quite uh, oily here and my T-zone here. So uh, I need something to dry that out. I also got the uh, Worth the Hype uh, mascara because I've got a MAC one at the moment and it's very chunky, like the wand is very chunky so I wanted something quite thin and just easy to go, like the applicator is really sort of thick but this one, by the looks of from the pictures, it was quite, it was quite thin and it's in the colour black so yeah, worth the hype. Now these are all the things I've literally, I've not like, I haven't really, I've kind of gone in just not knowing what they do or what they are or, or they, I don't think there's any hype on it on at all like I haven't really oh I bought this because I saw like a beauty blogger have it I, I'm just I'm just buying these things I don't know what I've got um I also got the soft matte lip cream uh NYX in the colour Cabo Cabo oh lord have mercy Cab Cabo I don't know I've absolutely absolutely no clue I'll, I'll leave the name down here of what it's actually called. I'll try it. Oh, by the way, I try to see if I can leave links down below what they are. Like if they are still on the Boots website or they might be the original price or on sale. I don't know. I'll leave some links below of uh, the things I've bought today if I can. As there's a few things I might not be able to put links for. I don't know. Oh, do excuse all this as well. Uh, I've just come back from work. And I bought this all Sunday, so it's Monday today. I bought this all Sunday, and I kind of want to use all this stuff now because I bought it. So I thought, oh, I'm quite knackered when I got home, so I didn't film it. And I was like, I film it when I get back from work on Monday, and here I am. So I've literally just slapped us on some lip, stayed everything, every, all my makeup's the same, my hair's the same. I just changed like jumper into some sort of comfy gear, and I'm battling against the elements of light and sunlight here. So let's keep going. So. With those, these products, they it literally came up to exactly £30. So I got four products for about £30, which for Nyx, I guess that's actually not that bad. Which means I got this Love Contours All Palette. Um, and it comes with eyeshadows, highlights, contour and eyebrows. So that's pretty good actually. Um, I'm not really a makeup guru person anyway, so that's why I'm saying I don't know what the hell's going on here. So I, you know, 
I really just, you know, it's, I think this is a good starter, I think, for anyone like myself. Let's give it a new one. Like, like, I'm done. Ooh, all in one, like that, just carry one palette. Because the thing is, when I stay around Liam's, I have my eyeshadow palette, my contour palette, blush palette. It's just like, oh, if I could just get it all in one, done. Um, and then I bought two more little things as well. Um, now there was this new, I don't know if it's new, but I haven't been in boots in ages. There's this sort of like new, uh, sort of like uh, drugstore, like drug makeup place, like product, like, what's it called? Stands, like drugstore, st drug makeup stands. Um, that's called Obsession M Makeup London. Um, I haven't seen it before. I don't know if I'm way behind the hype or anything, but this is the first time I've seen it. And I got the baking powder in uh, the translucent colour. They also do banana. And I don't really like my, even though I've got a bit of Asian skin on me, I don't really like being too yellow. So I've just gone for the translucent, easy peasy, you know, won't change the colour of the foundation I'm already putting on my skin. You know, I bought that colour for a reason, so if there's anything else that's going to change the colour, I don't want any of that. So that's why I got the translucent powder. And last but not least, I got the, um, uh, ooh, what's this? Oh, no, I always butch this, mate, this, I always butch this up. Is it, boo, boo, bourgeois, I don't know, I bought, I've only got like the eye, uh, concealer of it. Borish, I, I'll leave the name at the bottom here, proper butchering that out right now, bourgeois, whatever, I don't know, but I've got the Rouge um, Edition Velvet uh, Matte Lip Gloss, and that is in the colour, well that's in the number 10, Velvet 10. And that's all the stuff I got from Boots. Also, I can't remember any of the prices of these. I'm sorry, oh hang on, I might have this thing. The eyeliner was £9. The mascara was nine pounds. Uh, this uh, lip gloss, the red, the or the matte lipstick, eight pound forty nine. Uh, Nyx matte matte lip gloss, six pounds. Translucent powder, six pounds. This was six pounds. So that's all the stuff I got from Boots. I also visited Lush. I'm already gonna have to put a damper on this and uh, I'll mention it now so if you're like oh all right then you can t you can move on to the next section of the video but I actually don't have a bath in my house I just have like a big shower room so I actually haven't got any bath bombs in here and I don't really buy a lot of baths because even if I did have a bath here I'm not really a bath person I know we're learning loads of stuff about Susan now but um, <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm not really a bath person, but I do um, love a good shower. Uh, sorry, but um, so um, these are all soaps in here because uh, I do sort of like like the smell of their soap. So you're just gonna basically be hearing loads of the soaps and the colours. Uh, so this one is the Rockstar, and it smells a lot like Pink Fairy. You know the Pink Fairy that you get in the Christmas edition, the uh, for the uh, body body shampoos this is this is uh, called rockstar and it's pink inside this one is called M maple soap so it's got like oh, green in the middle and pink on the outside and it smells kind of like watermelon and sort of mint so very fresh really yeah I love this one this one smells really nice. Can't wait to use this one. I also got the honey I washed the kids soap so this one smells like honey. It's really nice. I, when, when she started cutting it up, uh, she sort of did really had the brown bit at the top. So I was like, oh no, it's gonna like not smell like honey now. But it obviously does. It's just, it's the yellow bit that still smells like honey. So I love this. I also had, I don't know if anyone knows or can remember or like, oh, I don't know if they still do it. They had this sort of like, like putty, uh, uh, like that you use for shampoo as well. It's like a putty shampoo, like it like looks like Play-Doh. Um, I think it's also for conditioner as well. Well, they've got soap but, uh, shampoo version as that as well. And this one's called, oh God, Trico, sort of, Tricomania solid shampoo. And this one smells like the tropical islands. It smells like got coconut, uh, milk sort of 
with mixed in with pineapple. Really nice. Um, and last but not least, I got the bubblegum uh, lip scrub because you always see these at the till and I'm like, you know, you'd have a little tester and I'm like, oh, you know what, should I, should I not, should I not? And then the lady tells your total at Lush and you're like, uh, I've kind of spent enough, I'm gonna give that a miss. Well, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna splurge myself and I didn't give it a miss and I popped it in there and oh, it smells so nice. Oh, yes. Uh, do you know what, I was gonna actually do a sort of, uh, like wrap, unwrap them all and like do a zoom in thing, but do you know what, I started to unwrap it and it was just it it was just falling apart everywhere. So I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave that. But I'll leave the links down below uh, to each soaps, which I think they'll they'll have them on the Lush website. So you'll be able to look what they actually look like from there. But I mean, most people are Lush fans anyway, who are probably into sort of this sort of like beauty and all that kind of stuff. So like you probably already know what they look like. But if you don't, the links are below. Last but not least, I went to Nespresso. So I don't really see like any sort of shopping halls that have. Oh, that's funky. Like uh, that have Nespresso haul. So I'm gonna have like show you some today. So um, uh, my lovely fiance for my birthday got me a Nespresso machine. So, um, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Bad thing is now I'm gonna have to continually buy expensive coffee, but a good thing because they are such, so good. They're so nice little tasty coffee. Now, quick disclaimer here, I'm not a coffee connoisseur oh coffee connoisseur oh yeah cc coffee connoisseur so i mean because they talk about like the intensity and the sort of the back flavor when you go into the store because obviously you walk in there they're like hello ma'am you're like oh i say and they're like can i help you with anything and like i'm like i just want the sweet ones so i'm kind of like a novice and i like i get these sort of the sort of the easy peasy ones that you can sort of say. So I got the vanilla one, uh, that's called van Vanilio. Uh, so I've got the vanilla one and in each pack you get 10. Now actually surprisingly they're not that expensive. Like I think this was £3.60 for 10, which to be honest in Starbucks, that's one coffee right there. That's one coffee. That is one coffee. Where here you get 10. So uh, I do think it's quite worth it really to maybe invest in something like that. Like I've got, so I bought some takeaway cups and sometimes I um, have the ceramic uh, sort of uh, mug cups that you put the top on there as well. So, and I take that into work and then when you just get into work, you just clean it and then pop it back in your bag. So, you know, let's say, say it's the planet. So yeah, so I've got the uh, vanilla one. I also got car caramelito. Caramelito? Caramel, basically, caramel. Um, which I wasn't gonna buy because I've actually got caramel syrup, um, like the caramel sort of the syrup thing to put into your coffee. So I wasn't too sure really of getting this. But once again, it was £3.60. Um, and I don't just have the caramel syrup. So I've got a sort of a tiramisu kind of one. I've also got a chocolate chip one. So, you know, this would still go well with the other syrups that I have. Um, and also my caramel one is running out. So that when that goes, I'm probably gonna be one of these anyway. I also got the Chayo Catino, Chayo, Chayo. I've got a chocolate one. <laughs> this is the chocolate one. Uh, once again, you get 10 in there. I don't even know what their intensity is. Because obviously the more intense it, oh, six. So I think these are all six. Six. Yeah, six. So these have all uh, got the intensity of six, which means they're sort of mid strength, I think. I don't know. I don't work there. I'm not a coffee connoisseur. I don't know, but it's not that strong for me, which is really nice because I don't really like too much strong coffee to the fact that I'm trying to over, over milk it, really. But uh, yeah. And then I, uh, I mean, I said to the gentleman, I was like, is there any more? I was like, well, at the moment, I've only got, I'm going into sort of like 10 pounds. I was like, well, I might as well chuck another one in there because these ones I always get anyway. And I said to him, like, wait, look, you can kind of see where I'm going here. I kind of like it sweet. I can't remember his name, but it was really helpful because he was like, oh, well then you might like this one. So this one's called Dulceo. Dulceo de Brazil. Dulceo de Brazil. It's like a, it's the sort of, 
cream, sort of cream beigey kind of colour. Um, this one's only got intensity of four, uh, so it's not that um, intense. It's a delicate blend of red and yellow bourbon beans from Brazil. It's satiny, smooth, elegancy, balance, flavour is enhanced with a note of delicately to toasted grain. Oh, that doesn't sound very sweet, does it? You said it was going to be sweet. So overall, I think I bought quite a few bits. I mean, I did buy other things when I was there, like at, um, a few people's birthdays coming up in May. So I bought a little bits here and there. My friend um, also came to see me, who she's leaving the country soon. And she's given me a few presents because it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago. So she's like, here's a late birthday present. So she's got me a few things from there. So in terms of what I bought, I bought actually quite a lot behind the scenes. But this is all for myself, which I must admit, quick, like I don't spend a lot on myself. Like I'm quite like now looking at everything, I'm like, oh, oh, what am I going to return? Really? So I don't buy a lot for myself. Um, so I'm already kind of looking at it like, oh God, can I return anything? Can I return anything? But unfortunately, everything, I don't think you can return makeup. I don't think you can turn, return soaps. You might can return the coffees, but other than that, I don't think you can return anything. So I'm only like, oh, 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 because I don't, I don't really spend a lot of my stuff. Like I, in terms of when it comes to clothes, like even that's pushing it. Like I don't buy my, I don't buy things for myself a lot. When it comes to buying things for other people, I'm like, not even hesitation. Yeah, let's grab that. They'll need that. Da da da. Oh yeah, they they'll love that. They'll love that. I'm like over like, you know, buying things for some people sometimes. So when it comes to myself, I don't really buy a lot of things for myself. Like mainly makeup is gonna do do a little bit. But that's us. That's 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 now only happened sort of over time. That it's kind of got like that. But yeah, so I'm quite happy with myself that I've managed to just treat myself a little bit because I never do. Okay, everyone, um, and that's the bee vid uh, all done for my shopping haul I did yesterday. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe uh, button if you're new to my channel as I've just started so I love to get as many people on board to share this journey with me as I've got a few Disney uh, sort of trips coming up if I'm, I'm still sort of unveiling like this like the Paris trip I went to in Disney as it's still going along um, and yeah there's this thing about notification button press it if you want to I, I haven't really sort of sussed and out yet <laughs> but um anyway so i hope you enjoy this video oh if you like my vibe please subscribe um and i'll see you for another video bye